I'm going to show you how to read information that was saved on the hard drive. Okay, so reading it from a file. I'm reading from a TXT file and I can do exactly the same for a CSV file. So this is just reading simple text data from a file. And once again, I create my path and I create my, um, so that's my path and it's in a string variable and then I've got the file name also in a string variable. I concatenate the two paths um, plus file name and separate the path and the file name with two backslashes. So you'll see that all my backslashes are doubled up. Um, now I'm going to say file, I make of the file class a variable object, okay, object variable, and I say new file. So in other words, I am uh, making an object of file class and I use the string variable that contains the path and file name that I want the computer to read from. Now um, this class here it's responsible for when I read to go to the right place. In other words where is the file that needs to be read and the, this file object knows where to um, locate the file. So it's responsible for the file location. So now when I go input new scanner file, I have to use a file object in the brackets here. I can't use a string object. Now um, I have created the scanner as null. Now in my try catch I say input is new new scanner and in the brackets file. The reason why I create scanner input null at the top is because scanner has to be in the try catch which is in a curly brackets but I want to close when I finished outside the curly brackets. Okay well I suppose you can depending on what you were going to do with the file I suppose you can do your close here as well which means I could have done everything inside the try catch but this bit here has to be in a try catch and by um, declaring my variable outside the curly brackets I increase the scope of the input variable so in this way I can refer to input um, inside all curly brackets all coding blocks can reach that input variable so I've got to put a try catch here because that's a checked exception. The computer won't let me um, uh, create that scanner object without, uh, for instance, if I put that information here, can you see now I get an error? Okay, now let's just put that after um, I put it here. Okay, now can you see I'm getting an error? Okay, so what is the error here? Can you see my computer tells me surround with a try catch. So when I click the option, the computer creates a try catch block for me. So, um, so it's a checked exception. I can't, um, I can't use the the scanner if I read from a file without that try and catch. And that is why I've got it here in a try catch. Okay, now I'm specifying the delimiter with, uh, in other words, my computer is going to look for the semicolons. Now, while my input has next, so the computer knows if there's something more to read, and if there is, now this line input.next will go and read whatever is more to read, put it in a string variable. Now, at this point here, I can do whatever I like with that string variable. Okay. And uh, that's it. There's my while loop that will read from the file. I just want to go here equals null. You have to initialize it even if it's with a null. Right. So I've got my scanner equals null. I just want to point out to you, you have to put the scanner equals null there. If I take the null out, look what happens. This thing gives me an error. What a lovely bang. Okay, so I put the null there. 
Right, okay, and this is how I do it. So scanner input, here I've got my input new file. It's in the try, try catch. I specify what is the delimiter. The computer will always read up until a semicolon and then to the next semicolon and then to the next semicolon, etc. While input dot has next, has next will tell me if there's something more to read. And if there is, it goes and reads it, put it in a string variable, and here I can do whatever I need to with that string variable. And at the end, I close my input. And that is how you work with a file. So I'm going to click Run, and let's see what it reads. Okay, it reads my two animals that I've created, lion and, and uh, the crocodile. And that's what it does. It's wonderful. Um, 